Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're running macOS Tahoe, you might have noticed something missing. The classic launchpad. Apple decided to remove the old launchpad functionality and replace it with the new Apps app. But let's be real, the Apps app is a step backward. It forces categorical grouping, no custom folders, no drag and drop organization, and basically strips away all the personalization we loved about Launchpad. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bring back that beloved Launchpad experience using a free, open-source, third-party app called Launch Next. It's highly customizable, powerful, and completely free. We'll cover where to get it, how to install it, and dive into its awesome features. If you're frustrated with the new Apps app, this is the fix you've been waiting for. Let's jump right in. Launch Next is built by the community for macOS 26 Tahoe and it's available on GitHub. Head over to Google and search for Launch Next. It's based on another great project called Launch Now, and it's licensed under GPL3, so it's open source and free to use. To get started, go to the Releases section on the GitHub page and download the latest version. It's a simple .app file. Just drag it into your Applications folder after you extracted the zip file. You can also drag the app into the dock for easy access. Allow me to drag it next to the Apps app. One heads up, since it's not signed with an Apple Developer Certificate, macOS might block it initially, after you run it for the first time. If that happens, open the System Settings and under the Security and Privacy, scroll all the way down to locate the option to Open Anyway button. This removes the quarantine flag so you can run it safely. Only do this for apps you trust, of course. Type in your password when prompted. When you click Launch Next, on first run, it automatically scans all your installed applications. Boom! You're greeted with that familiar grid of apps, just like the old Launchpad. Now, let's talk features and functionality. Launch Next doesn't just mimic the old Launchpad, it enhances it. It directly reads your native Launchpad SQLite database to recreate your existing folders, app positions, and layout perfectly. It delivers the classic Launchpad experience. Click to select apps, double-click to launch them. Instant search. Just start typing to filter apps quickly. Keyboard navigation is smooth, too. Customization is where it shines. You can hide icon labels for a clean, minimalist view. Adjust custom icon sizes to fit your preferences. Make them bigger or smaller as you like. Smart folder management. Drag apps around to create and organize folders just like before. No more forced categories. Multi-language support is built in, with options for English, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, French, Spanish, Hindi, Vietnamese, Italian, and Czech. Display modes. Run it in a windowed mode with rounded corners for a floating overlay or switch to full screen for maximum visibility. Toggle these in settings. Advanced stuff? It's got smart background interaction to prevent accidental clicks or dismissals, context-aware gestures, and search field protection. Performance is optimized with icon caching for smooth scrolling, lazy loading for efficient memory use, and background scanning that doesn't block anything. It even supports multi-display setups, automatically detects your screens, positions itself per display, and works seamlessly across monitors. In use, it's intuitive. Organize by dragging, search instantly, and enjoy the freedom Apple took away. If you run into issues, like the app not starting, double check you're on macOS 26 and have the right permissions. Launch Next isn't just a replacement. It's a statement for user choice and customization. Big shout out to the original Launch Now project and the dev behind Launch Next. If you like it, consider starring the repo on GitHub. That's it for today. If this helped you reclaim your Launchpad, hit that like button, subscribe for more macOS tips, and drop a comment if you have questions. See you in the next one.